Well, Australia Post has revealed the extraordinary golden handshake given to its former boss, who resigned following an outcry over, funnily enough, his multi, multi, multi million dollar salary. Ahmed Fahua was handed close to $11 million when he left the organisation in July. He announced the resignation in February last year after weeks of outrage after it was revealed or confirmed that he was earning $5.6 million a year. The revelation prompted the federal government to step in to stop the Australia Post board from deciding the boss's paycheck. Now, someone who played a key role in all of this back then was the Liberal Senator James Patterson, and he joins us on the line. Senator, good afternoon. Great to be with you, Ben. So if we thought it was a bit rich for Ahmed Fahur to be earning $5.6 million a year, what do we think about a $11 million farewell present? Well, this is a sordid end to a very sorry tale, and the most scandalous thing about this extraordinary payment is to remember the fact that at one point... Australia Post and the board thought it was appropriate to keep this number secret from the Australian people and not allow them to know how much they are paying their CEO. And so it was the board of Australia Post involved in signing off on the $11 million too? Well, it's as a result of a contract that was signed when he was first hired by Australia Post back in 2010. So I accept that uh, probably Australia Post had a legal obligation to pay him this extraordinary payout. Um, But the one good news out of all of this is that we can be sure it will never happen again uh, because Australia Post CEO's salary will now be set by the Remuneration Tribunal, and that's thanks to the Minister for Communications, Mitch Firefield, and the Turnbull Government, who've acted to make sure this can't happen again. Ahmed Fahua has claimed that he was picked on for different reasons, including the colour of his skin, but this has got nothing to do with that as far as you're concerned. It's all about a ridiculous salary, and and that's been proven by the new boss coming in on $2.75 million a year, which is still a massive wedge, but it's nowhere near what he was earning in his heyday, and not not getting anywhere near what he's walking away with as a farewell present. That's right, um, Ben. I don't care um, where you come from, what colour your skin is, what your religion is. If you're a public servant, A, your salary must be public and must be available for public scrutiny, and B, it should be reasonable and in line with community expectations. And anyone Australia Post hires in the future will have to accept that. Good man. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks, Ben. James Patterson, the Liberal Senator, joining us on the line.